Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm to take you around a bit of a special car. 2004 Pajero GLS MY05. Now obviously you've seen from inquiring on the vehicle, the car does have some kilometres and I only actually just found out about the kilometres on it now. And you would never ever, not even remotely guess by looking at the car, the kilometres on this vehicle. It presents so well. Now, this video is going to be all about the condition and quality of the vehicle and a little bit about the feature set on the, the car as well. So let's come for a little walk around the car. First off, you'll notice we're in the two-tone. We've got silver with grey lower on the bars. Headlights present crystal clear, no sorts of fading or anything like that. Do have fog lamps down the bottom as well for added visibility. Front grille presents brilliantly. We've got a couple of little stone chips, but I'm talking a handful here. Really good presented chrome as well. The bonnet on the car, we've got a couple of stone chips on here as well. Just we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six. It's only a handful of them, so really, really impressive. Shows to me that a bonnet hasn't been resprayed or anything like that. It's a bit of an honest car, which I like. We do have a couple of little touch-ups here on the guard that have been filled in with the silver paint if you're really picky on the car. But overall, the front of the car, exceptional condition. Coming down to the first of the wheels now, someone spent a little bit of money on this car. We have a full set of Cooper Discover AT3 all-terrain tyres. Now let's get in there a bit. You'll see I can fit most of my finger in the tread there, all the way across. So you're not going to be spending money on tyres for a long, long time with this car. Coming down the side, you'll notice the black trim in here, still black. It does have this, the grey lower as well. Very brilliant condition, no sorts of marks on the mirror, sides or anything like that. Sidestep in brilliant condition. We've got a little mark here on the uh, plastic trim. Looks like it's had a little bit of um, a little scuff in its life, but I'm being pretty picky on this car. Some very minor paint missing on the door handle, but we're talking minor stuff at the moment. Do have the genuine weather shields as well, which means you can have the window slightly open and um, not have rain get in the car in a day like today. Do have the optional roof rails fitted to the top of the vehicle. Doesn't have the crossbars, but they just have a chat to the service department if you purchase the vehicle. I'm sure they'll be able to rummage up a set for you. Coming down to the rear door again, brilliant condition. I can't find any wear or marks back there on this car at all. Just a little bit of polish just there because the car literally just got back from detail. So no marks in the rear here either. So no signs of diesel spills or anything like that here. Rear wheel presents brilliantly. Yet again, a brilliant condition uh, Discover AT3 tyre on the back of this car. We'll walk around to the back tailgate of the uh, GLS now. Yet again, fifth alloy wheel spare is there. Unlike the new ones, it's offset. Uh, brilliant condition, no marks or anything like that. Does have a Geolander road tyre on the back of this car. And we do have a tow kit fitted to the vehicle as well. Now, obviously, towing on this car is rated at two and a half ton. And we've got the flat pin plug there as well. We'll get into the tailgate now. It's a simple matter of pulling a little button there and opening up. And this is what just blows me away with this car. Condition and quality of it is just, you're not going to find a better one. Up the back here, we've got the headrest mounted into the door. Door presents brilliant. No scratches or nicks or anything in the back here. Um, in the back, the plastics, I've looked at one-year-old Pajeros that present like a dog's lived in the back and this thing, I'm struggling to find a scratch. I want my camera to get really close in on this plastic trim here and have a look at it. There's no signs of scratches, marks or anything on it. We do have the 12-volt uh, socket as well as an auxiliary 12-volt socket there as well. We do have a third row seat. The rear carpet presents perfect. It's just really, really amazing, this car. Pop that seat up there, pop that there. It's exactly the same as the new ones. Same seat, yet again, no signs of wear on there. The seat looks like almost unused in its life. Have a look at the condition of the trim on that. Underneath, yet again, barely a mark or a scratch of anything in the boot there. With this, if you weren't using the third row seats, it's a simple matter of two clips and you can actually have both boots available to yourself. I'll quickly just pop our little cardboard piece in and we'll continue our tour on the outside of the car. Shut the tailgate. All right. On the passenger side of the vehicle, now this is commonly where we do see damage from gutters and things like that, school drop off, that sort of fun stuff. And not much to talk about here on uh, damage wise. Got a little scratch just here on the plastic, so I'm being pretty picky at this point. No sort of scratches or there's not a single bush pinstripe or anything on this car. Wheel presents brilliantly, yet again, a brilliant condition Discover AT3 tire here. Um, we've got a minor, minor mark just across through there. 
Nothing on the doors. The lower step presents brilliantly. Door handles brilliant. We do have the matching side uh, weather protector or weather shield on this one. And coming down to the last of the wheels now, yet again unmarked alloy wheel and a brilliant condition uh, Discover AT3 tyre there with heaps and heaps of tread. So around the exterior of this vehicle for the kilometres and age, just purely exceptional. Alright, round to the front of the Pajero now. Time to talk about the engine bay and power plant of this vehicle. The Pajero is known for long distance touring and they're brilliant at it. First thing I look at inside here is the condition of the engine bay. The uh, sound deadening, really good condition, no signs of sagging, anything like that. All the guard bolts and bonnet bolts have been untouched, so I've never had any of the guards or bonnets off on this vehicle. Um, obviously we do have the secondary uh, plug in the back and electronic brake controller, some, some wiring for that in the back there. The engine. Four cylinder, 3.2 litre turbo diesel. It's going to give you 121 kilowatts of power and a very impressive 373 newton meters of torque. Through a five speed automatic transmission, four by four capable of course, you're going to get very impressive 10.7 litres to the 100 kilometres. Out of a 90 litre tank, you're going to get 841 kilometres of average driving range. All right, inside the Pajero GLS now, and this the condition I was talking about on the outside, just I'm absolutely stunned. You do not simply find these in this condition. This is super, super rare. So we'll start with condition of the car inside. Steering wheel here presents brilliantly. Very, very minor where, just where you sort of hold your hand. Obviously the driver drove like this a little bit. Very minor up there. Leather wrap steering wheel, no signs of scratches or anything like that. And even that at the top, I'm being brutal at the moment. Cruise control on the right here, same as the Toyota stick they haven't changed in 20 years. On, off, up, down, really simple to use. On the left side, we've got our front and rear wiper controls. On our right hand side, we've got our headlights and indicators. In the centre, we've got the nice um, sort of a white carbon fibre look um, clusters here. Showing speed on the left, 110 dead in the centre. Car is currently showing 281,059 kilometres on it. Uh, and taco on the right with a gear indicator as well, which is very useful when you're off-road actually. My car doesn't have that. Um, over on the right here, we've got our power windows as well as front fog light for when it's foggy and the rear fog light if you're driving in the snow. Um, driver's door trim here we've got power window switches now one thing i'm going to open the door slightly to show you a different angle of it not a single mark nick or scratch anything on the whole door trim just super impressive grab handles as well for the height challenged among us like myself to get in and out of the car dashboard i mean usually i don't talk so much about dashboards on the newer cars but a car like this just super super impressive um Coming down, we've got our little centre unit here telling us the time, temperature, altimeter, um, barometer, everything you'd want to know, compass, really easy to use. A button to test all of the indicators at the same time. Down from there, we've got our single DIN audio unit. We don't have Bluetooth phone or anything like that, but good thing about Mitsubishi is easy upgrade if you wanted to. Down below that, we have our air conditioning setup, where you want it, how much fan you want, and how hot you want it, simple. Down from there, the car has been optioned with the six CD stacker as well. Coming down a little bit further, we've got a um, little ashtray in there. Looks really clean in there. And we've also got a little 12 volt socket there for uh, charging your phone. Um, a little spot for your car wash change. Uh, even a button to raise the aerial. That's pretty nifty. Um, as well as a button to turn the traction control off. It can be useful if you're off-road and say sand or mud where you actually want a bit of wheel spin. A little button there, obviously the um, light for the uh, alarm mobiliser system fitted to the vehicle. We'll get, just go on a little tangent across here, Lynn. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. We do have the, I think it looks like it's a Primus um, electronic brake controller. Quite a simple unit to use. And actually, it does look like it's mounted in a bad spot, but you'll see I'm sitting here comfortably and um, quite a lot of room in there, actually. So good, good spot for it. Coming back into the center, we've got our automatic shifter, as we mentioned before. Five-speed gearbox there, so D for drive, but you do also have manual mode there as well if you, say, towing a trailer and you want to hold fourth or third gear up a hill. Uh, on the left side, we've got our four drive system. So we've got two high. We're going to leave it most of the time. Then you've got four high for sort of wet weather and dirt roads. Four high lock center. We're on um, tracks now. And then four low lock center. You're starting to get a little bit rough. You're in the rutted stuff at that point. Coming back, one thing to note, no signs of any marks on the shifters or center console. Leather wrapped everywhere here as well. Little spot for stuff. Two cup holders there. Center console. 
No signs of wear at all on the Micro Suede Center console. It does have a retractable armrest, of course. And then you've got the little button there. Carpeted center console in that one. Fold that down again, and then you get the big bin down there, which has another 12 volt socket in it. They were thinking ahead on this car. Going around the car now, not fitted with uh, carpet mats this vehicle, but presenting brilliantly and unmarked. I'd hazard to guess it has had carpet mats its whole life. The uh, front floor presents brilliantly. Front seats, this is the same as the driver's one. Not a mark, stain or scratch on it. Brilliant condition. Rear carpet, brilliant again. Rear seat, absolutely stunning. The roof lining, some very, oh, actually I'd go with there's no marks on it. There's a couple of tiny little fingerprints, but being pretty brutal there, it really presents well. Now this bit, my cameraman, his name is Lynn, for those watching at home. He also does all the photos of the cars on that famous green photo pad you've seen. Um, we always do a little compilation of the service books and he said to me it took him forever to do with this car because it has like 30 services in here. Originally owned by a human, which is nice. Um, we'll go in and we'll start flicking through a little bit here had it some um, free 1500 kilometer service shows a brilliant owner there done early um, then had its next service mitsubishi um, then it had its 15 it's had its 22 which is a little bit early it doesn't even say it needs to be done then we've got our 30 had the supplementary there again had the 45 had a supplementary again had the uh, 60 then we've had a supplementary again We've had the 75 at 74, and then we've gone through to the 97, where it should be. Then we've gone to 108, sorry, 105. Then we've gone to 120. Then we've gone to 135, 152, 150, 165, uh, 180. Then we've gone to 190. Then we've gone to 200, 203, sorry, that's the same one. Then we've got over here, that's a 203, 210, uh, 213. So actually, I think that one's for that one there, 213. So we've gone from 203 to 213. Then we've got this page, which makes it a little easier for my photographer. Um, then you've got the extra services done throughout its life as well. So we've got a few little early ones here at 50, 60, 80. Then you've got, um, where do we end, 213. So 223. 235, um, 245, 254, 266, 281, and we've just serviced it when we brought it into stock at 281. You are simply not going to find a better full service history on a Pajero like this anywhere in the country. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of such an exceptionally rare vehicle. I've stressed it a lot through this video. You are simply not going to find a better 2004 model Pajero GLS in the whole country. Full service history, amazing condition outside, almost brand new tyres on the vehicle, all terrains, set up, ready to tow, ready to do whatever you want to do in this vehicle. Do be very, very quick for this car. Give us a call, 9907 0555, and thank you very much for watching.